Well, the story about a wedding photographer on the CBS Morning News caught our attention. It seems more and more couples are interested in having their wedding photographer use a drone to get the best shot. But the federal aviation rules governing drones are murky. They must be flown below 400 feet. They need to avoid flying over populated areas and not flown for business purposes. And if you want to use it at a wedding, you need to get FAA permission. But for some, the red tape is worth the hassle for the pictures it can't forget. Yeah, Madison photographer Mickey Keenitz has used a drone to capture some amazing video and photographs for us. He joins us now with his drone. Welcome. 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 What's your interpretation of the law? Well, right now we're in legal limbo because a photographer brought a suit against the FAA and he prevailed. Now the FAA is appealing all those supposed guidelines. The judge has said those guidelines don't have the rule of law. So, wow. so it's still going to have to go through the courts. Yeah. You're going to fly this for us. Yep. And why you do, why don't you, why don't you tell us why do you use drones? You get such a unique perspective. Um, a ladder can't go that high. A plane can't go legally that low. Mm -hmm. So you have very unique perspectives. One of the first things we're seeing, I did. We're seeing some of the, the oh, shots wow. you have here. It's One of the beautiful. first times I used a drone was for an architect. And he had built a soccer field and a parking ramp. And he needed that perspective of both things at the same mm -hmm. time. Only a drone could do that. How high is high? How high do you go? Well, you can't go above 400 feet, and generally I'm much lower for what I do. Okay. All right, why don't you give it a whirl? Okay. How, how difficult <laughs> are they to fly? Well, um, not too once you're. Um... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Should we get out of the way? I don't know. I think it'll be okay. Okay. Can you see the little Yeah. Here we go. Is it showing up? A little lower, I guess. A little lower. Watch out for the little tree. Ah, there, there it is. see it. How cool. Attracted to that tree. It's a little uh, disconcerting at first. <laughs> well, this isn't uh, what I would call optimum. Yeah, you got this sure, small yeah, space there. Yeah, it's very higher. cramped. Do you think these are going to become more and more commonplace? Yes, um, there's so many uses, and I've been, I'm going to teach a course this fall, and I've been trying to find as many uses as I can to interest people to take that course at the university. So agriculture, real estate, news, architecture, I mean, it, it, agricultural, The uses fans. are almost endless. Really, it is. It's such a wonderful device. We're seeing some video you shot but on. But people uh, need to use them wisely. Yeah, absolutely. We're showing some video you shot on Baskin Hill. I mean, you're getting a perspective that you really can't get anywhere else. You're just floating through. <laughs> and the state capital is like you've probably never seen it before. Now, did you ever have any wrecks or anything trying yes, to learn? Yes, when I was it? in the Amazon, one of these completely flew away. <laughs> <laughs> and the shaman who had helped me the day before was explaining to the village. So how long can that stay in the air? 22 minutes on each battery. Okay. And how much of an investment is this? Uh, a couple thousand dollars, actually under that. Without the camera? With the camera. Really? Everything the camera. you see here, this custom radio monitor, everything. You spend more than that on some lenses, I bet. I do. <laughs> I mean, I was astounded at what you can get and what you can do for that little money. Yeah, it is amazing. Now, is one drone better than the other? I don't know anything about Well, these are... These are the most ubiquitous, and in, in, that, in that sense, I think they're the best because a lot of things are made specifically for them. I, the analogy I like to use is when Photoshop came out, everybody just addressed Photoshop. And right. None of the other things is just so dominant in the marketplace. Well, Mickey, this has been fascinating. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the lesson. <laughs> we, we're going to call you on our next tour. Yes, right. I hope you do. Thank you so much, sir. Take care.